μπορέσει ο σημερινό άνθρωπο να υπερβεί τη φυσική του ροπή προ την αδράνεια, την ησυχία. Αν στο Θουκυδίδη το είχε πει αυτό, ή η ελευθερία ή η ησυχία πρέπει να διαλέξετε. Είτε είστε ελεύθεροι είτε είστε ησυχοί. Τα δύο μαζί δεν γίνονται. In recent years, Big Pharma has begun promoting more than just its treatments and products. Drug companies now increasingly advertise health conditions themselves. As a result, Big Pharma normalizes even the most obscure health disorders and presents them as common. It's frustrating. Just when you're ready to relax, that's when it happens. The urge to move, along with uncomfortable sensations in your legs. They're hard to describe, but they can even keep you from getting to sleep. You feel the urgent need to get up and move, just to get some relief. There's a name for it. Restless leg syndrome. And if you have it, you're among the nearly one in ten U.S. adults who do. Want to know more? I Often, executed prisoners' bodies are quickly loaded into unmarked ambulances. Once inside, the waiting medical personnel begin the work of removing the prisoner's organs, kidneys, liver, and cornea, depending on whether the prisoner had been shot in the back or head. The organs are then rushed to nearby hospitals where patients, often foreigners, are waiting for their transplants. It has been estimated by human rights organizations that perhaps as many as 90% of the organs transplanted in China every year come from executed prisoners. Et donc je pense que encore aujourd'hui dans tout être, il y a une dimension jamais dit fondamentale par exemple lorsqu'il rêve. Chaque nuit, l'homme redevient cet être mythique. Le problème, c'est que justement, il prend cette réalité mythique pour une réalité non réelle. Hein? Euh, justement, cette idée de dire qu'il y a des réalités non réelles me, me fait rigoler parce qu'en fait, tout est réel. Hein? Donc la réalité du rêve est aussi réelle que la réalité euh, de, de cette prairie ou de ce ruisseau derrière moi. Mais, en, ou de cette caméra qui nous filme. Mais elle est différente. Hein? Et c'est précisément ça qui est intéressant. C'est le, le, le fait que nous ayons des réalités différentes et que pour pouvoir comprendre le monde, il faut pouvoir passer d'un niveau de réalité à un autre. Using Google Earth, we can measure the exact latitude of the center of the Grand Gallery inside the pyramid. It is 29.979-2458 degrees north. The speed of light in the vacuum is 299,792,458 meters per second. Controlled rotating outages are being implemented. Yeah, I, you know, the, the thing that's scary about this is there are, uh, as, there are an infinite number of minds that you could really create. You could create totally alien minds that just meditate on, on things that we could never comprehend. You know, you could create minds. <laughs> I'm freaking everybody out. He told them that they were the possessors of a magnificent tradition of education, beauty, rule of law, freedom, decency, and self-discipline. But that this tradition could not be saved unless it could be extended to the lower classes in England itself and to the non-English masses throughout the world. You see, I come from an age in America where we had hope 
as black people. We had a great deal of hope. Um, we really believed that we were uh, making a new future. And we really believed it. Uh, there was no one that was going to keep us down. I mean, that's what the Black Panther Party was all about. Self-determination. There was no way that I believed that this is what my future looked like. No way. You couldn't have convinced me of this in a million years. Therefore, since I didn't believe it, it didn't happen to me. It was, it, I, you know, uh, it just wasn't going to happen to me. I wasn't going to settle. Uh, and, and because I genuinely believed that I could control my own destiny. That day, I suddenly realized that I was no longer driving it conscious, and I was in a different dimension for me. The circuit for me was a tunnel, which I was just going, 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 and I realized I was well beyond my conscious understanding. Ayrton was multiple seconds into the lead, had the race in hand with only a handful of laps to go. And he received a radio message that said, you are so far in the lead, slow down. What if they make the wrong hand sign? <laughs> what, if, what if the ritual backfires? A clear September day. The American economy was already faltering after the bursting of the dot-com bubble, and then... The world's most powerful central banker, Alan Greenspan, feared the terrorist outrage would further undermine the confidence of businesses and consumers, so he kept interest rates unusually low. American interest rates were tonight cut by a half of 1%. The Federal Reserve's base rate now stands at just one and a quarter percent, the lowest for 41 years. After the bursting of the dot-com bubble and 9-11, Greenspan slashed rates to just 1%. And the supply of credit soared because the great exporting nations, such as Japan, China and those of the Middle East, were generating vast surpluses and lent much of their cash to us in the West. Finance is global, so it became cheap to borrow money anywhere. For private individuals, and especially for businesses, tycoons and financial institutions, they went on the most frenetic borrowing spree the world has seen. come to Iran with respect for its citizens, for their great civilization, and for the religious faiths they practice. We will deliver the food and medicine you need. Do not destroy oil wells, a source of wealth that belongs to the Iraqi people, the government of Iraq, and the future of your country will soon belong to you. The U.S. reacted, as I said, by escalating the war and also for the first time giving official orders to its mercenary forces uh, to attack what are called soft targets. That's what the Southern, South, Southern Command called them, soft targets, meaning undefended civilian targets, you know, agricultural cooperatives and so on. Another way to look at it is a science and an art comprising a system of concepts and methods for the buildup of human emotions altering the electrochemical balance of the metabolism, using associational techniques and devices to concentrate and focus this emotional energy, thus modulating the energies broadcast by the human body, usually to affect, to affect other energy patterns, whether animate or inanimate, but occasionally to affect the personal energy pattern. Those in the outer rings were told that the grand purpose of the order was to make of the human race without any distinction of nation, condition, or profession 
one good and happy family. But by the time the member had advanced to the level of presbyter or priest, his oath of absolute secrecy and obedience had become deadly serious. Only then was he allowed finally to see the ultimate goal of the order. It was the destruction of all religion, replaced by the worship of reason or humanism, and the destruction of all independent governments, replaced by a new world order, a world government ruled from behind the scenes by the illuminated ones. He invented the solid fuel for the rocket program. We wouldn't have the space program had it not been for him. He was also a satanic high priest right. who conducted sexual rituals. And uh, here's a drawing of him with, uh, with his girlfriend. And they conducted uh, rituals called Babylon Working.